Uh, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to factor reset dash mini unit. You can do it from the touch pad, from the touch screen itself, or you can do it from the the reset button, or you can do it from the back GUI. To reset it from the touch screen, click on the settings option, go to device settings, go all the way down to factory reset, and click reset option. The other option is to do a factory reset from the reset button. So place your device in such a way that you have access to the ports. Make sure your codec is running at that time. Right next to the power button, you will find a factory reset button also. Use a pin, press and hold this button down for 10 seconds. So unit is up with the default settings. Thank you. In fact, to reset any Cisco endpoint running CE or Room OS, uh, log into the web interface using the credentials. Go to backup and recovery. Go to system recovery. The last option here is reset to factory defaults. Uh, when you perform a factory reset, you're going to lose all the logs that, that were there on the unit. All the user accounts that you created, so all the custom accounts you created will be gone. Any, any sort of macros or customization you have done will be gone. And the alternate image, which is present for you, um, on the unit, which you can use to swap these images, will be gone as well. So click on this option, factory reset, and click on factory reset again. This will factory reset the unit. The other option we have is we can SSH to the codec. So SSH using one of the admin accounts. Type in X command system unit factory reset confirm yes and press enter. This is going to factory reset the unit as well. Thank you.